excellent question. Okay, let me, it gives me a chance to uh, restate and clarify our own business and our own objectives. We were founded as a business that is entirely focused on reliably delivering electricity and desalinated water at the lowest possible price. Um, coming at it as a operator at heart of uh, power generation and desalinated water production plants in which we have a meaningful economic interest or equity interest. Okay, so that's our business. So as such, we are uh, technology neutral and fuel agnostic. It's not my business to tell my customer what to do. So we respond to customers' preferences, customers' fuel choices, technology preferences. Having said that, as we go and invest significant sums of money via these assets in all these countries that we operate, whether it is in Saudi Arabia or whether it is in Vietnam or whether it is in South Africa, uh, we are, of course, uh, very concerned about making sure that those countries develop in a stable, sustainable manner. And so we're very keen to ensure that they deploy the right resources for, such, for something as fundamental as power generation. So we're there advocating, we're there lobbying, we're there showing that diversifying the fuel mix, particularly in today's world where the resources, where they have got alternative resources like the sun and the wind, um, is cost competitive, uh, and how they should look at increasing those use. But we respond to uh, the customer's requirements. What we have seen in the last particularly four years, three to four years, a very rapid shift, and this is backed up by much more uh, reliable data or, or solid data collected by agencies like the International Energy Agency. Um, what we are seeing is that renewables are being deployed preferentially more than fossil fuel-based energy. Uh, I think there are two very good reasons. Um, first reason, the most obvious one is the fact that renewable energy uh, costs have come down as efficiency has gone up and cost of construction has come down and so on and so forth as technology choices have become better. But the second most important reason <clears throat> is renewable energy gives us the opportunity to fix the energy cost for a medium to long term. So when we uh, look at oil-fired coal, uh, gas, the fuel is a variable, and it remains a variable for the 20 to 25 year period. Um, and what we know about these uh, fossil fuels is that the price is very volatile. So you cannot be certain. So you contract at a price today, but for sure the only thing that you can be uh, certain about is that the price will be different next year. Could be up, could be down. And quite often, it's up. But once in a while, it comes down for a few years. Solar energy, there is no fuel cost. So you contract everything up front, and you agree, and it's fixed. So that's also another attractive uh, proposition. So these are the reasons why we are starting to see solar energy getting uh, deployed much faster. You asked the question about, the, about coal. <clears throat> You're right. Uh, coal prices have come down. Um, but the fact of the matter is, just as much as they've come down, who knows what. And we are making, in energy, we are making choices for 40, 25 to 40 years. The, you, you don't build a coal-fired power plant and scrap it five years later. It's way too expensive. And it's got a technical life for 40 years. So you're locked in. So in making these choices, one needs to be very careful. So you don't sort of rush off and take a decision oh, coal is less than $60 today, so let me build 100% of my portfolio in coal. <clears throat> I think what we are seeing as a, by way of practice now is that governments or big utilities are recognizing the value of diversity of uh, fuel. So they're looking for a mix <clears throat> so that they don't sort of uh, put all their eggs in one basket, particularly with these volatile fuels, spread it a little bit so that you've got some hedge, um, and, and take advantage uh, of, uh, of that low fuel price while it's available, but, and, and also have some security through the diversity. 
So this is why you are starting to see uh, countries like uh, UAE, Emirates, uh, Dubai, uh, looking at implementing a coal-fired power plant. <clears throat> Egypt is looking seriously at doing a coal-fired power plant. Now, this is not to say they're going to now rush off and do just coal. I think they're making it very clear that they see it as a mix, as a small amount in the total portfolio. And as we go forward, that's what we expect to see, except in certain countries like in Africa where they don't have necessarily too much of a choice, uh, where they, they will uh, deploy their own natural resources. And there they are using coal mainly because it's because they have it, it's a natural resource, rather than uh, an imported, substituting an imported fuel like gas or oil.